your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm gonna kill you for all these orcs to see. Oh, I said you were Bruce the Chopper. No, Let's go. Is, mate. It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, Yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. Today, we're playing some more Shadow of War, and I am Salty Green being your host. And this is gonna be part nine. And we have to follow Electriel to Shelob's lair and we must move quickly. Yep, 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 yep. I'm supposed to follow you, I'm ahead of you, what the hell? Any day, let's go. There's no telling how many Nazgul the Witch King has sent. They must not get my ring. Why? Can the Nazgul defeat one so great as Shield? Together they wield a terrible power. All right. Even oh. Shelob's brood fear the Nazgul. We must hurry. Shelob has the power of the new ring. Not from my ring, but powerful though my ring is, the Nazgul build rings of their own. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said in the last episode. Nazgul have nine rings. Our only hope is the light of Galadriel. And it shall protect us. But I shall be the one to wield it. Everyone's running away from the Nazgul. That's kind of insane. Come on, run faster. Light of Galadriel, my ass. If you can't run fast, fuck out of here. We are nearly there. Ready yourself, and do not stray far from my side. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up! <laughs> oh. Eight legs, nine Nazgul, that's not gonna work. No, 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 not today. Let's fucking kick some ass! I kicked all these bitches' asses single-handedly before. Let's go. You gotta be careful with that. Shelob doesn't like the light either. Oh shit. Uh, you, you don't want it? Why? Sacrifices must be made. Why no? Take the ring. Yeah. <laughs> you learn what it's fucking capable of, and now you're just like, I don't want it. Build your army. Your path will be made clear. You know, I have a huge hatred for spiders, but she's kind of making me like them. <laughs> Alright, you dick cheese. We got our ring back. You happy now? The ring race has fled. The ring race. You must destroy this ring. It belongs to us. Your legend holds true, Calabrimbor. This ring is different. We can use it to defeat. I strike down men corrupted by these rings. Do not become one of them. When the time comes, I will do what is needed. Perhaps. Get as far from here as you can. The ring wraiths will return. They always do. Our paths will cross again. 
Yeah, hopefully. New region unlocked. Oh, this one's actually green and oceany. <laughs> you hear that sound? That is the forest of Karnan. I'm not our concern. Talion. We need to build our army. Yes. That... That encampment is full of warriors. Our warriors. Act two, rise to power. God damn, it took for long, so long to rise to power. And Minas Ether was just, I guess, it was Act one, but it was like kind of like a very long prelude, you know, like to get you used to the game, the enemies and the characters and the setting and how this game's gonna play. So I think that's what the uh, Minas Ether was for. All right. Domination. Use the new ring to build your army by dominating orcs. Hold R2 to enter stealth and press circle to stealth dominate your or your target. When not in stealth, hold circle to dominate an orc. All drain abilities now dominate the target as does interrogating a Our greatest assets are the power of the ring and stealth. If possible, we should remain undetected until we have tilted the odds in our favor. Alright, let's do it. I'm down. Watching a few eggs get bashed in. These archers will be more than just a skill you need. When you get to sacking six, spills you up like a meal, and then you go all dizzy. Quite a drink. Commanding followers, your orcs will not attack their former allies until you press down to activate them. If you enter combat, any nearby dominated orcs will activate automatically. Let us test our warriors. You'll not be conquering the rest of Gondor with a weak arm. Why are they So I can kick some ass! Holy shit, they actually work! Stronger warriors. Alright. The fall. Mission complete. Skill point gained. 425 meter over here. Hit streak of 20. That was one whole fucking god. What? We will also require commanders. Exceptional orcs who can do more than simply serve as fodder. But what of this forest? It calls to us. We must not be distracted. Building our army is paramount. Tapping. Square. Let's do that one. That one I think will be good for Berserkers and etc. like that, you know? Ring of Power. The return of the new ring gives you power of domination over your enemies. It is time to forge an army. Let's do this. I've had enough of your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm gonna kill you for all these orcs to see. Oh, I said you were. Bruce the Chopper. Let's go. 
It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. Bruce, I, um, if you guys haven't seen the gameplay trailer of, like, building your army or something, he's the main character, or the main, you know, like, war chief or something, you know? That we can dominate and have in our army. I love this man. Bruce the Chopper, he's really cool. I like him. Skill unlocked, dominate captain. You recruit captains as followers. To recruit a captain, attack him until he breaks, then hold him. Fucking shit. So, I think... You know how, like, in the last game of Shadow of Mordor, if any of you ever played it, or watched it, seen it, you could, um, get upgrades to upgrade your health, right? But in this game, you can't. It all, it's all RPG-based, and stuff like that, so I would say armor just uh, takes an account. That little sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're gonna need more than that to take me down. Yeah. Oh shit, Bruce, come. Shit. I wish I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain. Deadly smart, which... Because he'd have to be given the two heads. <laughs> Take him down. You'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? <laughs> All right, Bruce. This man is gonna be part of the ass kicking business you know if you get to name our army that's our army's name ass kicking business <laughs> dodge bruise attacks by sliding through slip. okay and now i'm level 12 region control bruise wants to help you defeat the overlord and capture the fortress and then and hold options to see the army menu. unknown overlord this region is controlled by the Fortress of Sharkburrs, which is ruled by the fearsome overlords. Begin your conquest of Mordor, you must assault and capture Sharkburrs. Increase your army's strength by recruiting additional captains to serve as assault leaders in your assault f force. Press R1 to view the Fortress Siege upgrades. Okay, 
The Overlord's strongest troops are his war chiefs. They are responsible for the fortress's formidable defenses known as siege upgrades. You can draw out a war chief by undertaking a, con a confrontation mission. Once drawn out, a war chief can be killed outright or dominated and recruited into your army. Killing it or dominating a war chief before the assault disables the siege upgrade, weakening the fortress's defenses. Fair enough. Okay. Bruise has joined your assault force as an assault leader. Recruit additional captains to join the assault force and send Midian to purchase siege upgrades for them. Okay. Okay, okay. Aha! The attacking army is strengthened with a group of categorites. Olag Hai. Attacking army is strengthened with a group of Olag Hai who can destroy fortress walls. Mounted cavalry. Attacking army is strengthened with a group of Karagor riders. Sappers. The attacking army is strengthened with a group of explosive sappers who charge the fortress gates. I'm gonna say Mounted Cavalry. We can get all of them for him, though. Honestly, we'll just do that for now. We need someone else. Quest. Available, and then, and... Okay, so we already have Bruise the Chopper, and we already gave an upgrade for him. Weakening enemy power is important. But what is most crucial for conquest is strengthening our own forces. Yeah. All right, dominate captains for well first we're gonna unlock a skill. We're gonna unlock a skill. You know, um Let's see what skill should we unlock? Bird of prey Let's try to do mounted. I want to mount uh, Category rider hold the dominate and ride a broken character If we can ride things that's gonna be the greatest thing. I heard you can ride a drake ice storm consume treasure hunter and I think the right... Oh, wait, no, we're in the wrong thing. Grog Rider, Call Mount. You can summon the Dominated... Car oh, man. Shadow Mount, a Broken Grog, Dragon Rider. Yep, see? That is what I want. Dragon Rider. If I can get Dragon Rider... Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be in the business. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I hope you enjoyed, because I definitely enjoyed playing the game. And it has been Salty Green Bean. And I will see you all in the next video of Shadow of War.